Well, the great food truck race is back. That's right for its 14th season and this time one of the seven alumni teams will be battling out to be named the all time champion and win $50,000. Joining me now is the host Tyler Florence. Tyler, good morning to you and thank you so much for being here with us today. How are you? Uh, Natalie, my absolute pleasure. Uh, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. How are you? Doing great. Okay, so for those who have not yes. seen the show, just tell us a little bit about it. Well, first of all, where you been? We've been on for 14 seasons. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's the greatest greatest food truck show on four wheels. And uh, we, we take eight, each season, we'll take you know six, seven, or eight of the, some of the best food truck teams in America, and we'll race them from one end of some course to the other. We've been, you know, from Atlanta. I mean, we, we actually have been to Atlanta a couple of times, but like LA to New York, LA to Boston. We've been to, you know, all the way across the country, uh, down through Key West, Florida, and everywhere in between. Like we've literally been over a million miles in 14 seasons, but we've never had a race where we determined who was the best food truck operator of all time. So we got seven of the best food truck teams that won previous seasons back for the ultimate battle. Uh, we did it right here in the San Francisco Bay Area where I'm from and where I'm coming at you from right now. And uh, we had so much fun, fun shooting. It was right uh, in uh, September of last year. And uh, the, you know all the trucks just brought everything they had. <clears throat> they're really great food, they're great cooking, they're great you know, uh, food truck competition style. And it was just so much fun to watch. We got a chance to capture it. So this season we're gonna determine once and for all, and we we this is the a highly requested season. Everyone's been talking about this forever. But who is the ultimate great food truck race champion? It was a lot of fun. That is so neat. Okay, and so specifically for this season, what also can fans just expect to see who've been around watching <laughs> all the other thirteen seasons? Yeah, so so uh, all the champions from season two, season three, season four, um, or they're all kind of getting together back here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, we, and it was just so fun to, to travel around my home, my hometown. So it's the Santa Cruz Mountains all the way up to uh, the Napa Valley Vineyards, where we're going to be this Sunday uh, for an amazing grape stomping challenge, which is kind of cool. And the, the 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 teams are on the streets here in the San Francisco Bay Area just showing America, you know, how great food trucks can possibly be. And, and what I really love about the show is we, we have spawned so many great food trucks and there's a lot in the Atlanta area as well. But right now there's over 47,000 active food trucks in America. And our show had so much to do with that, just to really kind of promote the genre and kind of give them a platform and for young restaurateurs uh, to have a place to get their feet wet and really kind of get their concept out in a big way. So I'm just so proud of the show. We turned the lights on for so many young entrepreneurs in the food space. And it's just so great to see it come back one more time. Yeah. Uh, this is my 25th year on television with Food Network and the great food truck race has never been bigger. Oh, that I'm so proud of you. Or you are so awesome. Now, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, since the show's inception, <clears throat> food trucks have become so popular, like a phenomenon, right? And so has that impacted the show and how it's evolved? And what's it been like? I know you just touched on this a bit, but you know, what's it been like to have been leading that food truck phenomenon, really? Uh, yeah, so the show started back in 2010 and it was really hard because I, I you know, would do uh, interviews like this all the time to promote the show and nobody got it. Everybody thought it's like, there's no way I'm gonna eat from that roach coach out by the construction site. There's just no way. Um, but right now, um, arguably food trucks are the most inventive and some of the best restaurants in any major city in America. And that's where a lot of the innovation and you know, great fast casual concepts are coming out of right now because it's just a great place to just to start. It's a great place to, you know, you can lease a food truck, skin it, uh, start a social media program and then load your food truck and get going. You could be in business in a couple of weeks, uh, which is so great. So a lot of like young restaurateurs that have got a really good idea that just want to get their feet out. It's my ultimate recommendation uh, is just to start a food truck, just to get it out there uh, before you jump into the brick and mortar business, because you can really test your idea. You can create a big fan base for it. And, and you can just kind of get out there in a way that feels, you know, uh, safe from a financial standpoint. So, so you know, uh, restaurants can be risky. I'm in the restaurant business. So I know this more than anybody else. Um, but food trucks are just a fun place to kind of get out there because you're just, you're, it's like a carnival. You get four or five food trucks together 
in a city on a Friday night Ooh. with a beer truck and a band and lights. And it's a party. You it know, is it's such a party. A party. And, and, I'm here for it. Yeah. I love it. And they're, they're great for catering. You know, you see like, you know, wedding events using food trucks instead of having a big tent and a big formal dinner. So it's just kind of fun, fast, casual stuff. And, and, and it just it feels a very, very much like an American genre, which Absolutely. is cool. And, and it's definitely kind of and it's taken over all across the, uh, the world, too. I mean, some of the best chefs in Paris now have food trucks. Uh, even 11 Madison Park in New York City, uh, which is one of the best restaurants in the world, just launched a vegan food truck uh, this past week. So it's definitely out there. It's never been bigger. And the great food truck race is a cornerstone of all of that. Well, we can't wait to watch. You're making me hungry. Thank you so much for being here <laughs> with us today. All right, Natalie, so great talking to you. I love Atlanta. I grew up in Greenville, South Carolina. And Atlanta is, just, Atlanta is just such a fantastic city. Well, we love you too. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you soon. And congratulations all right. on all your success. And, and we would like to thank, thank Food Network and Discovery Plus as well for helping us out with today's interview. You can watch the six episode series, The Great Food Truck Race All-Stars, now on Food Network and Discovery Plus.